I have a question. Why would you play a game that the title suggests is not going to be fair or balanced? Can opposed card play and miniature dueling shine bright in our hobby? I'm your host Benji and this is Unmatched in 5 minutes or less. First things first, this little piggy is a miniature fighting game system. The setting could be basically anywhere, but it's the historical and pop culture characters that are integrated into the core game mechanics that make for an easy way to pick up and play any of the available product line. Ultimately everything centres around your chosen gladiator's unique set of cards. This is what enables you to take a variety of different actions and declare mortal combat against your opponent. There are cards that can only be used on your guy or their sidekick, some only in attack or defence, but all pursuant to the goal of being the last man-woman standing. But first you need to savvy the area movement, which sees you deploy on opposite sides in different coloured zones, all of which provide a clear representation of who can be targeted by any ranged fire. But in order to get up close and personal, your move action sees you trotting a variable number of spaces but also drawing a card, in what should be billed as a 2 for 1 special. It then boils down to the opposed card play mentioned at the top. You see, all your cards that can be used in combat have a value, and it's a simple case of whoever plays the highest card wins the combat, and the attacker alone can do the difference in damage. However, the cards you play also have before and after combat effects that always add a twist or two to proceedings. So why might you like it? Well, it definitely brings a visceral simplicity to the table. Many of these mechanics are as old as time, but what elevates this move and fight board game are the little things. The either side of combat tricks that can really swing a battle, the differing playstyles of each character that complement the super easy to learn rules to a level that feels just right. But of course none of this works without the flavour and the theme of each of the would-be combatants, and this is an area where a great deal of attention has been funnelled. The fact that most of your picks also have sidekicks allows for a great deal of space in creating wildly different approaches, and so this is one area that will certainly increase replayability. That and the fact that the game length is just about spot on. Two things that all short length games should aspire to are that you want to immediately play them again and that you extracted every morsel of fun out of them before they pass their sell by date. Well folks, you'd be hard pressed not to give Unmatched a tick in both boxes. But why might you not like it? Well, balance as you can imagine by the game's title and the press snippet of In Battle There Are No Equals is intentionally hit and miss, and a little bit rock, paper, scissors. That's not to say there are any completely lost causes, but there are certainly some mega tough matchups. Also, not everyone might be overjoyed by the action trimming that links movement to drawing a card. At certain points during a game, it feels more like juxtaposition. What if somehow you could get greater card economy as a separate action that doesn't involve moving? My half-baked ideas are here all week. None of this can detract however from a very well polished game system that brings bite sized miniature duelling and extracts the most amount of fun from what is an extremely simple set of rules. That however has been unmatched and this video is over. If I were ever asked, it's a clear, clear dream matchup for me. Mahatma Gandhi versus Vlad the Impaler.